So the moment we found out we were pregnant with Emily was a bit of a surprise, I think. Uh, we knew we wanted to expand our family, and it happened really quick, which was great and very exciting. So when I was in my anatomy scan, I actually had gone by myself because this was our second time, and they said they were just going to get some more pictures. People kept coming in and out of the room, and I just remember thinking, like, this isn't normal. And then when the doctor came in, he just kept saying, this is really serious, this is really serious, and I think she has hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Hypoplastic left heart syndrome is a failure of the structures on the left side of the heart to develop normally. The left side of the heart is that portion of the heart that's responsible for circulating the blood to the body, and the pumping chamber and other structures on the right side of the heart are responsible for circulating the blood to the lungs. With hypoplastic left heart syndrome, the valve leading into the pumping chamber is poorly developed, the pumping chamber itself is poorly developed, the valve leading out of the pumping chamber is poorly developed and then the main artery as it comes off the heart called the aorta is also quite small. I always try to remain positive, you know, which is really hard to do when you're facing news like this. And I remember the second we walked in and the receptionist just greeted us with a really warm welcome and she made us feel totally comfortable. Being a dad in this experience, you're, you're obviously looking just to comfort your wife while you're also trying to process what's going on as well. So I was looking for any way possible to make Lauren feel better or feel better or more comfortable about the situation. And that meant getting as much information as we could. And everything was always explained to us in detail so that we felt we really had the knowledge to make the best decisions. And we knew that they were really thinking about what's best for, for Emily. The Fetal Care Institute, all the doctors and medical staff we met there really made us feel comfortable. We trusted them and that made us feel a lot better about the situation. So the first time we met Dr. Peterson, she was so calm and so comforting. And I think just her presence really helped me, you know, like she just made it sound like, you know, we're gonna, we're all gonna get through this together. We met Lauren and Tim obviously before Emily was born. Prenatally when we saw her, she had a higher risk of hypoplastic left heart syndrome that meant that she needed to deliver actually here at Cardinal Glennon so that we could perform an intervention immediately after birth. Emily was born at Cardinal Glennon. I delivered her there and then they moved me back to St. Mary's. Normally what happens in these situations is the babies um, are delivered at St. Mary's and then they're transferred. But Emily's team had decided that that she needed to go to the cath lab right away to start her heart journey. The three operations for hypoplastic left heart syndrome are first the Norwood operation which is done somewhere around five to seven days of age. Secondly the Glenn shunt which is typically done somewhere around four to six months of age. And then finally the Fontan operation done typically at around two to three years of age. Emily is a very resilient young girl, and if you saw her today, you probably wouldn't really even know that she's been through so much. She's doing great now. Yeah, Emily's, <laughs> Emily's thriving. Um, she had surgery seven weeks ago, and you would have no idea. I mean, she's back to running around, she's eating, she's playing, she's... You she's literally a happy, no happy three-year-old. <laughs> I think for us that are involved in prenatal cardiology, really the amazing thing about the whole journey is really trying to help the families understand that there is a way forward with this. There are things in pediatric cardiology, many things that we can do to give children great quality of life, to be able to do the things the other kids do. Just being able to see them beforehand and then be there when the babies arrive and really help walk them through the process of what are going to be the next steps from here. And then I would say, I think for most of us that do this, the best part of all is seeing them in, in clinic and follow up once they've completed their surgeries and, and they're running around and doing all the things like the normal two and three year olds do and, and even being able to follow them into into early childhood and adolescence. When we left the Fetal Care Institute, there wasn't really a conversation about what should we do next. We knew that was where we should be. We felt like that was going to be a part of our family for a long time, and we felt comfortable and happy with them. There wasn't, there wasn't much debate uh, about where we wanted to be. And I think it says a lot about the medical team and the staff at Cardinal Glennon that Emily jumps up and down, literally, to go to appointments at the hospital. And quite honestly, I think we feel a little bit that way, too. You know, these people really become part of your family, and I think that says a lot for who they are as people and how they care about their patients and their families.